everyone, it's Moana Monday and today we're going to read a story. Why Lion Roars. One of our Tinga Tinga tales. You see, there was a time when Lion didn't roar like a king. You could say that Lion had no roar. Jambo Lion, what's all the noise at the water hole? Snap! Leave me alone! Snap! Crocodile is snapping at everyone again. I don't know what to do. Snap right back at him. You are the king of Tinga Tinga. Leave us alone, Crocodile, you big bully. Stop snapping. Stop it, Crocodile. Crocodile, the water belongs to everybody. Snap, snap, snap. This is my water hole. Crocodile is not very nice. Lion didn't know what to do, so he talked to his tiny friend Flea. Lion, you must do something, said Flea. But Crocodile won't listen to me, said Lion. No one ever listens to me, said Flea. That's because you're so tiny, Flea. But you are the king of Tinga Tinga. You must do something, said Flea. But Lion just sighed and did nothing. This is not nature's way, said Flea sadly. All the animals gathered to talk to Lion. Your Majesty, said Tortoise, the animals need their water hole back. You are our king, so you must stand up to Crocodile. Say something, Lion, say you will, whispered Flea. I... I will, said Lion nervously. So Lion went back to the waterhole to talk to Crocodile. Um, uh, Crocodile, said Lion. Uh, the animals would like their waterhole back. I think it's time you played fair, don't you? And how are you gonna make me do that, said Crocodile. You have to roar, Lion, whispered Flea. Now is the time to roar. So Lion cleared his throat <coughs> and took a deep breath. But, uh, uh, um, nothing came out. Lost for words, are we, Lion, sneered Crocodile. I've got a bigger roar than that, laughed Lizard. Looks like I'm here to stay, said Crocodile. Lion was so ashamed that he went far, far away from all the animals. Let's face it, Flea, I'm not a born king. I don't roar like a lion and I don't sound like a king. That's because you have to feel like a king before you can sound like one, said Flea. Look at me. I'm tiny on the outside, but I feel really big on the inside and I can do really big things. Like somersault and hop and I can even roar. But I don't have a roar, said Lion sadly. I know how you can find your roar, said Flea, in the great cave of Tinga Tinga. Come on! So Lion and Flea went all the way to the great cave of Tinga Tinga. But no beast has ever dared set foot in there, said Lion. Lion, you were born King of Tinga Tinga and you must stay King of Tinga Tinga. Who are you? I am King of Tinga Tinga, said Lion in a tiny voice. Then tell that to the great cave, said Flea, and find your roar. So Lion stepped into the great cave and said, I am King of Tinga Tinga. Who are you? I am King of Tinga Tinga. Who are you? Answered a big voice. Lion decided to be very brave. He stepped further into the cave and answered the big voice. I am King of Tinga Tinga. Who are you? I am King of Tinga Tinga. Who are you? Came back an even bigger voice. 
suddenly Lion heard a voice. Bat, said Lion, is that you? Stop it, please stop roaring, you're scaring me, said Bat. Your roar is very, very loud. And so is your echo. My echo, said Lion. Yes, they're both you. You roar and your echo roars back. I have found my roar! Roar! So Lion made his way back to the waterhole where Crocodile still wouldn't let any of the animals into the water. Mamba! Crocodile! I command you to share the waterhole with all the animals. Snap, snap! How are you going to make me do that? Lion took a deep breath. <gasps> I am King of Tinga Tinga! Who are you? Crocodile was so frightened that he ran away. All the animals happily jumped into the water. Caribou, welcome to your waterhole, roared Lion. Lion is the king. Ha ha, look at Croc. Look at that Croc run. Lion is the king. The king of Tinga Tinga is back. From that day on, Lion ruled over Tinga Tinga and he only used his big scary roar when he absolutely had to. And that's why Lion roars! And why Flea jumps? Well, that's a whole other story.